everyone welcome to icare of them so today i'm going to discuss about duochrome test this is a subjective test which is used to confirm the final spherical correction monocularly with state of balanced and relaxed accommodation principle of this test it is based on the chromatic aberration of the eye basically longer wavelength lights will fall behind the retina and the shorter wavelength lights will fall in front of the retina This diagram has green with wavelength of 535 nanometer and red with a wavelength of 620 nanometer on the background. The red and green wavelengths are dioptrically equidistant approximately 0.25 diopter from the yellow wavelength which is 570 nanometer. The long wavelength is refracted lesser than the shorter which is basically red is refracted lesser than the green in duochrome for myopic eyes without correction red background letters will look clearer in hyperopic eyes without any correction green background letters will look clearer it is assumed that the best vision is attained when the yellow wavelengths are focused on the retina which is with the optimal correction both red and green background will look clear and accommodation will be relaxed procedure of this test this will be done at dark room to increase the chromatic aberration of the eyes it will be done monocularly at the end of the subjective refraction in duochrom chart one line above the best corrective visual acuity will be given as a target will ask the patient to report which color background letters are clearly visible according to their response we should add plus or minus lenses to obtain clear vision on both red and green background. background if the patient is reporting red is more clearer than the green we should add minus power in 0.25 steps until you reach both red and green clearer if your patient is reporting green is clearer than the red one you should add plus power in 0.25 steps until you reach the both red and green clearer then finally you can add this balanced power to the subjective refractive power which you got before See this example in subjective refraction this patient had minus 2 diopter spherical in duochrome test the green is clearer then we should add plus 0.25 still the patient is seeing green is clearer increase one more plus 0.25 now the patient is seeing both equally clear so the final power of this patient minus 2 diopter spherical with plus 0.50 spherical so this will be minus 1.5 spherical some researchers are saying that it is better to leave younger patients with one step into the green and older patients with one step into the red and the pseudo phakic patients with one step into the green reliability of this test if more than 0.5 diopter is used to to balance this test then this won't be reliable we need to go for a cycloplegic evaluation contraindication of this diagram test it is not used in the patients with visual acuity of worse than 20 by 40 which is 6 by 12 because the 0.50 diopter difference between the two sides is too small to distinguish Okay guys here i have a question for you in duochrome for overcorrected myope which color background letters will be clearer and also for overcorrected hyperope which color background letters will be clearer drop your answers in comment section we'll see you tomorrow until then tell a bye bye everyone don't forget to subscribe i get up to for daily updates Click, clap, pull it.